How to run a business in 2024 with monday.com. Hi there customer experience community, this is Dominic. Welcome to another video. Today we're going to look at how to use monday.com as a tool for your business. Now we are a customer service agency and we are a Zendesk partner and we've been one for the past 10 years. So we have over 330 projects completed. So a bunch of experience on our uh, under our belt. We use other tools as well. These tools follow the departments and needs that you have for your different functions. Now, let me get specific. In order for a business to run, you have to have an operations department, you have to have an implementation going on, then you have to have a sales mechanism in place, and then you have to have a financing in place. This video is going to have three parts. It's going to be a CRM for sales, it's going to be a financing for invoicing customers, and there's going to be a contracting component as well. Now we're doing all of these with Monday plus the help of a third party. We'll get to that in a minute. Okay, component number one, sales CRM. Now I'm sharing my screen and you'll be able to see how we use monday.com for a CRM. So I have here of dashboards. I'm not going to get into the details of how to set up Monday, but yeah, we are pretty good with it too. So I have a dashboard and then I have a board here. So this is existing Zendesk users. This is what I call them. So I have created a pipeline and everybody Everybody who's uh, had any connection with the sales tools, you know that you need a pipeline. So I'm a visual person and if you are one too, then this is going to be a treat for you because it's going to look good. I have created the pipeline like this. I have prospects, so people that I talk to and they reach out to us via either via YouTube or on our website or social media, etc. And these are prospects and we introduce them here. And I'm going to start introducing an example for us to actually have a good idea of what this looks like. Let's call this amazing company. Amazing company reached out. Oh my God. Okay, the status of it, I'm working on it. I can obviously have more statuses. This is tailored to exactly our use case. So I'm stuck, I'm done, I'm waiting for the customer, I'm signing it, I've lost it, or it's being signed. Next touch, so, this is uh, me, for example, having a reminder for myself to reach out to the customer again two days later. So I have an automation which sends me an email on the 12th or two days from now and because it's being shot on the 10th <laughs> and it's going to tell me, hey, uh, you mentioned that you wanted to reach out to an amazing company again. Agreement type, is it a one-off, is it ongoing, is it an app, is it a reverse referral? In this one, I'm going to say it's an ongoing one. Expected duration, so a timeline. I'm going to say it's going to start from the 23rd and it's going to be like six Six weeks most almost so until the end of November service type now this is what uh, the services I have defined for me and for us as an agency doing customer experience so it's an optimization it's an onboarding app development system integration sunshine guide customization blah data migrations NSL reporting bot design Zenis consultancy or time and material let's do bot design because we love this one and you guys do too you come on this channel and you want to look for bot design flow and we can help you with that. Contract value, let's evaluate it at 5,000, let's say. Hours estimated, all right, let's say about, I don't know, let's say like 36 hours. I'm going to give the team size, so your team size, let's say uh, 15 to 50, that's how large it is. Service variance, so this is where I have my services. I can choose the services and let's see, where is it? Bot creation, choose this one. So I already have these laid out. You'll see that uh, this is a field which is mirroring what I'm choosing from here. I have another board with these uh, created, so it's a different place. I'm, I'm referring it from somewhere else, so don't worry about it. This is a technical thing. Additional info, um, they need it uh, quite fast. This is for me too, when I go back here or somebody else looks at this, they will know what to do. Contact, okay, let's call this, this uh, Dominic. Uh, this, he's the contact, the position, he's the CSM source. Where are they from? Google, LinkedIn, a mailing, don't know. Reddit, referral, seminar, webinar, YouTube, tennis website, YouTube, let's do YouTube. Lost reason, I haven't lost you yet, so. <laughs> and this is an integration with Zenesk, I won't get into it. Okay, so this is step number one in my pipeline. So what I do is I invite the customer, after I know a little bit about them, I invite them to have a call for business requirements, pretty standard. After I understand the business requirements, I start filling in uh, information from here. I start filling in information, whatever the customer needs. Then I do a demo and I show the customer, you know, how we fix those issues. So I how we fix the needs of this customer. 
And then what do we do? We have a meeting discussion about the quote. Now, in order for us to have a meeting and discussion about the quote, I have to be able to send a quote. I'm not going to get into that just yet because that's a different component. It's the contracting component. Anyway, so after we have a discussion about the quote, then if we decide to go forward, we go to scope of work in scope of work exactly what it is we're going to use that uh, contracting component again send the customer a contract that they need to sign digitally all done uh, from here and we'll get to that in a second anyways so from here i am going to either you know convert it to a customer or i'm going to say that i lost them and you can just put in here and it lost and I have an automation here that just makes it disappear. Poof, it's gone. It's no longer there. Okay, so it's in my long list of lost opportunities. I'm not going to show you, it's embarrassing. We're a business and you know, you win some, you lose some. We interrupt this broadcast to bring you a word from our sponsor and you're never going to guess. It's us, duh. <laughs> if you want to use a Zendesk Consultant's 10,000 hours to make sure you're getting the most out of your Zendesk, if you want to have simplified processes, if you want to make sure your team is productive, you want to make sure that your customers are getting the best customer experience, show management that you made the right choice with Zendesk, automate as much as possible to free up time for you, then hop on over to roca.work slash offers and we'll ask you for for your team size, we'll ask you for what kind of service you need, and then you leave your name and email, and we'll give you a ballpark. Now, based on this estimate, we'll be able to see how our services best fit your needs, and if we are a good fit, let's start optimizing your Zendesk. We do this in three phases. First is we optimize Zendesk to make sure you're getting the most out of it. Second is we apply best practices in your niche. And third, we focus selling more of your service or product. Now, again, go to roca.work slash offer, get a ballpark and let's get the conversation there and let's start optimizing I'll see you later bye okay so now we're going to discuss component number two which is contracting contracting is a way for me to send an offer to the customer and after they agree about this quote then I can follow up with a contract that we need to sign how do I do that well I go on here in Monday and I have some tabs here I won't go into the details of walkthrough of Monday because that's not not interesting to you now I'm just trying to show you what you can do with it and what, how we use it maybe it inspires you now I go to panda doc very important for this component this is a third party and I did mention earlier that there is a third party involved which is PandaDoc. So PandaDoc is a digital signing platform where you can create uh, contracts and you send them to the customer and yeah, they sign the contract. Now we use it for two things in contracting. As a service business, you have to send a quote first and then you, if you agree on the quote, you send the contract. So I'm going to create a new document, which is going to be an offer, right? So I'm sending an offer to the customer, this prospect, and they need to tell me if it's a good offer. I have a bunch of templates here that I have created in PandaDoc. Now I'm going to choose pre-offer template, add one item. I'm going to skip this because this is going to end up in whoever it is I'm talking to email in their email inbox. So I won't bore you with that. Let's go in here and I'll show you what it looks like. So what it does is it takes the information from monday.com automatically. Look, pre-offer, amazing company, took the name, took the date, who is it for? You know, this is the presentation. Some of you are maybe familiar where we talk about, yeah, a little word from our sponsor, <laughs> which is us. And then some testimonials, because I think these are important and they're all coming from real people. Here, scope of service. Services. You remember I chose the scope of services automatically. It fills it up in here, da da da. And then I go in, I fill in the commercial offer. And this one, it doesn't take automatically. And I have a reason for it. It's because I can set some automations in here to follow up and say, hey, did you accept the offer? Did you accept the offer? It's a little bit harder to do that. I also am able to see and track in PandaDoc how many opportunities I win and how many I, I lose. And, you know, if I put in here, for example, Zendesk Consultancy. I put my price, 99, put quantity, how many hours did I say, 36? Uh, I said that there would be a discount, how much is it? Let's see, it's like a, all right, I'm feeling generous. Let's put 20% discount. And see, automatically it takes it up in here at the top left. So I am able to track and see metrics on how many opportunities I win and you know how much revenue it is. I know you like that because I do too. If you don't track it, it means you don't care. So 
yeah, here you go. Now what I can do is I can send it via email or share the link. So if I send the email, it will just end up in, in the inbox and I can see it. And you know, the experience is nice for the customer. So we always have to refer back to the customer experience. Customer receives an offer and it's this thing here and it looks good, it looks cool. I mean, to my judgment, obviously you can do it better. That's up to your designer. So I send it via email and the customer receives it and then they say, yeah, it's good or it isn't, you need some more blah. Okay, cool. I have the document here now what I do is if a customer agrees well this is not lost I'm working on it still I go to scope of work and in here I do the same I create a, a document in pandadoc again and I send it you know in your inbox and you need to sign it or customer needs to sign it okay this wraps up component number two component number three is invoicing in a normal world you've prospected the customer you've sent them an offer they said yeah I like this offer you sent them a contract and uh, you decide to work together after completing the work you have to send an invoice or you know you have to get a down payment you have to get paid for the for the work right so let's jump right into it I'm going to change the board in here and this one is going to be called finance so I call it finance and I have here a board I have here my invoices and in here it's the same I create you know unpaid and paid so paid is full of uh, stuff that was already paid unpaid this one actually has been paid so I'm going to say it was paid yes I have an automation in here and it boom takes it away from me and I don't have to see it anymore now unpaid let's see um, in uh amazing company I'm going to write it by hand I'm not going to fill it in I can just go back and just uh, duplicate it and send it here I can do that that is definitely possible but let's just do this uh, right now expected duration doesn't really matter invoice ID KAI uh, 199 let's say service what was it was it uh, I think it was okay let's call it consultancy paid no Titus um, it's uh, ended it has ended contract hours I said 36 hours used and we use them all this is Dominic the contact my last name is Brasovan or Brasovan if you will value per hour okay I put my value so let's just put okay okay tax ID um, BE do -do 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 -do. address Dominic Street 14 I would like that to have my own street date today invoices so this is files currency this is going to be usd please profit this is what uh, yeah this is calculation so i can see how much profit i get how much i've spent i'm not going to get into that now i ban the bank payment for 50 percent down payment please an email so i can follow up with this person dominic and roca now what do i do now so I have created here an automation and I have a button in here. It's called boom, as you see, and I press boom and uh, this automatically creates an invoice for me. This is okay and all, here it is. It creates a document like docx and a PDF. And this is, a, this is the, the invoice in a PDF format, which I have to download and then add to an email and then send to the customer. This is not ideal. Obviously, I would have wanted to send this invoice directly from here. I can't do that because I can't customize my own invoice. I can create invoices directly in monday.com, but in this case, I'm using a third party, which is called DokuGen. So you have, you have a free version of, uh, I think, 100 uh, downloads or 100 iterations like this, 100 documents per month, and then you have to pay if uh, you go over. But in this case, you have to download the PDF and send it to the customer. You can see the, all of the information that I added by hand there. Like this is all has been filled in and it's all good. So everything has been added in here. So it's, uh, yeah, it's amazing. And I use it. So I use this DocuGen and it's really good. Okay, so now we're done with the third component. So let's recap real quick what we went through. So we went through how to run your business in 2024. To be fair, on the sales and financing side. So we covered sales CRM. We covered contracting components and then we co we covered a invoicing component so we have these three we went over them and uh, yeah I hope this brought you value and uh, I'll see you in the next one and thanks for watching and before you go please like and subscribe to this YouTube channel I'd be very grateful to see more of you who are subscribed because only 9% of you are subscribed and are watching these videos so I'd be really grateful thank you so much I'll see you in the next one bye